Mic check, mic check. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Is anyone there? Is anyone out there? Friday, huh? Happy, happy Friday. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to live, live, live mixing every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern, right here at the DIY or Die Network. What's popping? You guys enjoying the heat, huh? Enjoying your weekends? All right, let's get into this. We're making juice, okay? What are we making? What are we making today? It's up to you guys. <gasps> You tell me what to make, I make it. That's the show. It's always the show every Friday. Sometimes we do randoms. Sometimes we'll put some like random profiles on the screen. We spin a wheel and we could do that. Maybe I'll put that into the uh I'll put that into the uh voting machine here. The uh Streamlabs. Let's bring that up right now, actually. Let's just jump right into it. Let's jump into it. Well, before I do, I have to shill. I I, I haven't been shilling as much as I need to. <laughs> as much as I absolutely need to. But it does need to be said, okay? If you enjoy the show, you enjoy making e-liquid, maybe you've never made e-liquid before, you want to get into it, I have a product for you. They're called One Shots. They make things very simple. You go to liquidbarn.com, you go to flavoring, tastemaker collection, and you can buy my DIY or die one shots. Water Malone, which is a delicious fresh watermelon, strawberry malted milk, quick, King's Custard, which is a butterscotch custard, and then Saint Peton, which is a nice fancy blood orange champagne. Okay, you can pick those up. They're easy to mix up. I tell you what percentage, they're foolproof, right? While you're at Liquid Bar and get your VG, get your PG, you can get your labware, you can get your bottles, you can get your everything that you need, okay? It's all that Liquid Barn. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Obviously, there's one final thing that you need that you're going to have to figure out how to get on your own. I will no longer recommend that um, on the show, <laughs> I guess. You could also head over to Flavor Jungle dot com looks like this image is not working on my browser flavorjungle.com i have more one shots now flavorjungle.com sells a bunch of one shots by me here's all the one shots you go right up here to their browser one shots the i wired i one shots bada bing bada boom 9.99 to get you around 300 mils easy to mix easy to use all delicious you can tweak them you can add to them all the recipes are available except for rose milk, so you can learn how I put them together. You can try to put them together on your own time. Very awesome, fun products. And if you're in the EU or UK, head over to chefsflavors.co.uk. And then I have products over here as well. There's no excuse. If you want to get into mixing, you can do so anywhere in the world, okay? And I make it very, very simple for you. Very, very simple, very delicious. Okay, awesome. And I appreciate everyone who has been purchasing them. They still sell pretty fucking well. They still sell pretty fucking well. Not as well as they used to, but I think it's a lack of... More so a lack of me marketing them. <laughs> I'm not the best... I need to hire someone to just fucking market them for me. That would be really cool if I could just do that. Because I'm so bad at it. I don't know. It's kind of awkward. All right. So there you go. Tate, I can vouch for Rosemilk PRY for you, Obsidian Quick, and Son Petion. Thank you, Tate. I can vouch for those also. <laughs> the video seems too dark. Is, is the screen too dark for you guys? Is the screen too dark for you guys? My uh, batteries are dead here. All right, yes, yeah, so... <clears throat> 
let's get into what we're mixing up today. Let's get into what we're mixing up today. We could do a random spinneroo. I'll put that on the list. Yeah, I don't know, Scott. Maybe you need to uh, bright brighten the monitor or something. It looks I haven't changed anything. Um. So um. Let's get up. Let's get on the streamlabs. All right. Let's start putting up some some things to mix up today. I don't know what we did last week. I never remember what what we mixed last week. Yeah, Cloudbot, Pole. We can do the Spinnerooski. So, what are we mixing? What are we mixing? I'm going to type random. That'll be the spin, the wheel of death, essentially. So, the random wheel, we spin it. We just mix whatever that wheel lands on. It could be chocolate watermelon. It could be strawberry lemonade. It's usually never... It's usually never... It's usually not as fun <laughs> as it sounds. Because usually what happens is you get like two good flavors that like meld together pretty well. And then one flavor that's just like... Okay, it's not weird, but it's also not something that you would do. It'll be like strawberry kiwi banana nut bread or something. And you'd be like, that that doesn't really make much sense, you know? Do some patchouli? Patchouli flavors? You would you, I honestly, honest to God. Are you interested in vaping patchouli? Because to me, patchouli is more so like I guess kind of lands in the realm of lavender. Well, not even because lavender. Yeah, I guess it would kind of land in that realm of like lavender or like what would be another profile like that? Where it's like more of just like, I don't know if I want to taste that. I rather just smell it, if that makes sense. But lavender does have like some uses like strawberry and lavender is pretty good. Patchouli is more is definitely more niche than that. That's definitely that's definitely like a uh I don't know. I don't know if I'd be uh willing to do that. All right. That's pretty darn impressive. Oh yeah, we're gonna mix up some vanilla cookie. We're mixing up flavor art vanilla cookie. We're gonna dig into the flavor art flavorings. The new FAs. <clears throat> so we'll be doing that for sure. So if you guys are interested in what the new flavor art vanilla cookie tastes like, stay tuned. Yeah, hippie, yeah, vaping hippie. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know. I find that it's just more so like uh, an aroma than it is. I guess it, like I'm trying to think of like another aroma that would be on that level of patchouli, but none come to mind. I, maybe I just can't think of them. Hold on. Let's Google patchouli. Let's see here. I have one that's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember what the name is. Hmm. Sandalwood. That's the other one. Sandalwood. Sandalwood. It's like, I don't know if I'm down to like vape like sandalwood, you know? That's more of like, I'd rather just like light a candle that smells like that. Are you saying give me a head? I'm struggling with the dryness. Are you saying F.A. Vanilla Cookie is giving you a headache or patchouli gives you a headache and then you're struggling with the dryness of F.A. Vanilla Cookie? I'm assuming the latter. Okay. Wayne, I tried your obsidian yesterday and wow, didn't think I'd like a tobacco vape that much even though it's on the lighter side of tobaccos. 
Hey, man, I'm glad you enjoy it. It's good, man. It is tasty. Yeah, it's definitely one of the probably the most approachable tobacco because it, it's really stretching that word tobacco. <laughs> it's really stretching that word tobacco. You let it sit for a couple of weeks and like you get a little bit more of that tobacco note. But yeah, it's definitely more like a bakery dessert with just like light tobacco accents. Nice. Sandalwood is another amazing idea. I really want to try that. <laughs> I'll try. I, I maybe not not today. I, I'll need some I'll need some frame of reference. I honestly have no idea what I would even do to make a patchouli. Like I know Vape Train has what? Musk? Is that patchouli? So they have love, which I don't think is patchouli. No. No, love is not patchouli. Sweet musk, I think, is like a patchouli flavor. Or aroma, rather. Yeah. It's definitely more perfumey. I don't know if I don't know if that's patchouli. I don't I it's kind of like patchouli, I guess. Has anyone tried sweet musk? It's definitely flowery, like on the like it smells like cologne essentially wood spice is patchouli sassafras patchouli sandalwood mix yeah i mean yeah I'll, I'll have to do a little bit of practice before we before we dive into that but like how would you even go about making that a vape you know like to me, making that, like vaping that, would be akin to like inhaling bug spray. It would be akin to like inhaling like a, a chemical, like artificially chemical, like spray that's used to, you know, like a cleaner almost, like inhaling cleaner. And I, you could probably get it to maybe, maybe some creams or something. Like you would need something to like really hold on to those notes. I don't know. It would be really tough. It would be really tough. Patchouli would give me a headache and I'm struggling with the dryness of F.A. Cookie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's mix it up. I have an idea for it. I have a pretty good idea. We're going to go with strawberry cream with it, actually. Just to see how it holds up as like a vanilla fingers type thing. Cinderwood with patchouli is a great idea for a natural deodorant. You plan to sell it at a flea market. True. <laughs> True. <clears throat> Today would be a good day for you to mix a dessert Soho type tobacco because I'm craving one. All right, well, let's put one on the list for to vote. So I'll put RY4 on there, which is a dessert tobacco type. So I'll put RY4 on there. I'm always happy to, uh, I'm always happy to uh, <laughs> mix an RY4. Iron Sky Review. I didn't watch the whole thing. I we I watched some of it on um, Fourth of July. I watched some of it on Fourth of July, but I I want to watch the whole thing. It was actually on TV, as a matter of fact. Which maybe that's how you watched it, but it was actually on TV. I forget what channel, maybe FX or something. And then it was crazy because I was like, wow, I was just talking about this movie, and like they were watching it. My friends were watching it uh, when we got there. And I was like, wait, is this Nazis on the moon? And they were like, yeah, man. I was like, oh, we were just talking about that. What are the odds? How did my Home Alone weekend go? It was amazing. It's always amazing. Hello, Robert Saylor. Yeah, we're definitely making a strawberry, well, more like a strawberry cupcake, I guess, or strawberry shortcake would be better. Got all the concentrates on the way to make your drip and cherries. Summertime for summer vapes. Um, that's not my recipe. 
that's not my recipe. I think that's Sam's recipe. I am Sam's recipe. Yeah, root beers are easy to do. Flavor root beer, you're done. All right, keep throwing uh keep throwing uh ideas at me what to make. And I'm going to start making this strawberry and cream, okay? It's not a strawberry and cream, strawberry shortcake. This is I want to use this cookie in the shortcake cuz it does smell dry and I think if we use strawberries and cream, it'll help that dryness. So this is the new vanilla cookie That's by Flavor Art. That's darn impressive. <laughs> which is um, easily... Oh, I'm sorry. It's easily one of the best smelling aromas on the market. Like it's up there with Capella sugar. Maybe I'm just like... Maybe I just like sugar cookies. But... When you get this, man, just give it a whiff, taste it on the back of your hand, and then thank me later. Because it is like eating. It's like leaving animal crackers like in a bowl of milk for a little bit and then eating them. Oh, I could drink it. It does seem a little dry. Okay. So we're going to go that. We're going to have to keep things really light here. Yeah, guys, keep throwing profiles at me and I'll start putting them on the list, okay? I'm going to open up my All the Flavors account. So one thing that I do is I make these recipes and I keep forgetting to make them public. So please remind me to make these recipes public. So this would be strawberry shortcake F.A. vanilla cookie. So you guys know, okay, this is the one with vanilla cookie in it. I don't know, it's probably not even on all the flavors. By the way, Brandon hit me up and said that they have some new features coming or something for all the flavors. He's going to do a little walkthrough with me, which I'm excited for. Oh, they did add vanilla cookie. Wow, they're quick. These guys are quick. All right, F.A. Vanilla Cookie. I want it kind of high. I want it at like 2%. And then our... Strawberries are going to be simple. I think sweet strawberry, Capella sweet strawberries, we found out through our strawberry adventure the other day. It's really hard to beat in a strawberry and cream. We're going to do 2.5% of sweet strawberry. And we need like a stickier strawberry. So I think we're going to go with TFA strawberry here. Just a simple. Sweet strawberry, strawberry mix. We're going to do one and a half of strawberry. We are going to do, well, I don't want to do marshmallow because, and I don't, maybe we'll just do vanilla swirl. So we'll do vanilla swirl at 1%. We're going to do custard two. TFA custard two. And that's going to be at 1.5% to start. And then we're going, we need something a little fluffy for like that whipped cream like thing. I mean, I guess we just do whipped cream because I do want like whipped cream in it. I'll do TFA. Flavor Arts is a little... It's probably the better choice, but most people probably have TFA. And then Super Sweet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's give this a mix. Let me get my ingredients here. You know, Bavarian cream might be bit. Nah, we no. Nah, nah. 
Vanilla cookie, vanilla custard to Well, I just realized I'm almost out of vanilla custard too. I might have just enough. I might have just enough. All right. Don't forget to make your recipe. Thank you, Briar. Strawberry taffy, I think might be a little too sweet in this. Might be a little like too candied, right? We just need something like a little thicker. Uh, thicker is really what I meant. When will Wayne finally get sick of strawberry and cream vapes? Well, I honestly don't vape them much anymore. I honestly don't. I vape mainly RY4s now, personally. So I kind of have gotten sick of them. I still love making them though. It's nice to have like a nice strawberry and cream. And this is a great, for me, like I know strawberry and cream so good that they're great for testing out ingredients in a recipe. This is a lot of the time why I use strawberry and cream. I just know them so well, right? That like any sort of variation in its flavor is it very easy for me to pick up on. So a lot of the time you do want to do like a, you do want to do like solo mixes, right? But um, to also understand a flavor, you need to use it in a recipe. And a lot of the time, strawberry and creams just work out really well. All right, vanilla cookie at 2%. Let's see. Maybe it won't come out. Maybe it'll get pummeled by the strawberries. We shall see. The aroma and flavor is on point. I'm really enjoying playing with it. I'm trying to find a way to make it a little wetter without using a fruit. True, true, true. I see what you mean. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see how this turns out. Vanilla custard at one and a half. Just barely enough. Just barely enough. Vanilla swirl at 1% here. I probably sh should have went lighter on the strawberries, to be honest, but... But what you gonna do? And then whipped cream at one and a half. Which is a lot higher than I normally go. But I do want to taste whipped cream in here. It's not that I want to taste whipped cream. I want to feel it, right? I want to feel that whipped cream. We're going to do like a drop and a half. Super sweet. I want to feel the fluffy. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Hey, thank you for the host. Who hosted me? It doesn't say. Thanks for the host, man. Whoever you were. I appreciate you. Lighter on the strawberries, that's blasphemy. Yeah, true. Thicker strawberry? What about anywhere she's a strawberry? Yeah, actually, that that probably would have been better. That probably would have been better. She's a strawberry probably would have been better here. Well, maybe thicker is not the right word.
Yeah, I, I guess Shisha Strawberry might have worked better instead of TFA Strawberry. Something like jammier, you know what I mean? And Shisha Strawberry is... I would say it's jammier than TFA Strawberry. But it's also like a different type of strawberry. So why don't I just don't use it as much as I use the the other ones just because of it's like a very I don't know specific strawberry I guess. It's like a just a different type of strawberry. Good evening, Wayne. You make great content. Greetings from Germany. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, babe, for fun. I love stash e-liquids, peaches, and cream, but importing from the U.S. is super expensive. Do you have a good peaches and cream go-to recipe? Um, I'm sure I have one on my website or something. Off the top of my head. This is what you do, okay? You get Wonder Flavors peach pie, and you mix that with a little whipped cream, a little maybe TFA vanilla ice cream if you want something a little thicker. That's it. <laughs> there you go. But I'm sure I have a I have a recipe on my website or something. Off the top of my head, I I, I can't quite think of one. What's the top two best peaches? Wonder flavors, um, peach pie. It's called like peach pie, peach cream pie or something. And I would also say uh. Capella's yellow peach. <laughs> I really like that peach. But didn't we do a, a peach recently and we found another really good one? I don't remember though. There's too many ingredients. I'm starting. It's like new information coming into my brain is starting to kick out the old information. And my motor skills apparently. Anywhere is jammier, but it's not... I wouldn't say that's a jammy strawberry. Honey peach is pretty good. Honey peach is pretty good, but I, I don't think it's like a top peach. TFA juicy peach is what you're saying? Mmm. Okay. Okay. On the hand, that tastes nice. Cap Juicy Peach. Cap Juicy Peach is good. I still think their yellow peach is better, though. Flavora Peach is good. But Flavora Peach is, like, pretty uh, potent. It's, like, not really a good mixing peach. Anywhere is peach. Anywhere is white peach. Not bad. I don't think I have the yellow. I have to. I don't know if they make it anymore because one of the companies that I work with, we had issues with the yellow peach, and they, I think we had to swap it out for some reason. It might be because they stopped. They're stopping making it or something. Possibly too much diacetyl. Remember, peach is like very high diacetyl ingredient. It's like up there with butterscotch. It goes like butter, <laughs> butterscotch peach and like uh, order of oh well, it goes butter custards with diacetyl butterscotch peach the order of diacetyl levels that's my only uh, that, that would be my only guess as to why that happened but i could be wrong they could still be making it let's take a look i, I obviously have the the capabilities of looking this up myself well i want to go on their website Let's see, yellow peach. Let us see here. Let us see. Okay. Well, the four ounces are out of stock and the 13 mils are out of stock. So it's possible they stop making these. It's possible they stop making these. Because you can only get bigger batches now, it looks like. So maybe they're just whatever the rest of their inventory is. Wow, a lot of their shit is sold out, actually. Look at this. Almost like everything is sold out. All of like their smaller batches. 
13 mils, all sold out, 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 sold out. Maybe they're just sold out in general. Look at this. The whole website's sold out. Maybe they just don't sell small batches anymore. The whole site's out of stock. Huh. Capella, let me know what's going on. All right, let's test this out with Flavor Arts Vanilla Cookie. Oh, man, that is good. Okay. In this recipe, the cookie is like very subdued in the back. And I'm assuming it's going to be like that for any type of mix that you put it in. It's going to kind of sit on that, that very tail, tail end which is mainly what you want out of a cookie. You don't want the cookie like right up on the top. You should be able to get vanilla cookie from Bull City. It's not on Bull City. That's who gave it to me. So maybe they're just not selling it yet. Maybe it's sold out. Oh, it just found it. Okay. I could be because of the raw material shortages as well. Possibly. Possibly. Everyone's kind of going through a shock right now. It was like COVID. It was like regulations hit. Then COVID hit. Then everything opened back up. So like everyone was like just buying. It was very. It, stock is going to be very limited for some time, I think. Which is why if you were watching the show. Prior to all of this, you would have understood, but we were telling you, stock up, stock up. Get your all-day vape ingredients, get gallons of it, get your additive, get gallons of it, get a little mini fridge or some sort of long-term long storage solution. So you're not stuck. This vanilla cookie is really fucking good. It's very subdued, but it definitely rocks <clears throat> we got your recipes now Yeah, this is really, really interesting. I really want to mix it with chocolate, like a light milk chocolate. This is the cookie. If you want to do like shortcakes <clears throat> or you want to do like, um, you need some sort of like light vanilla cookie, <laughs> like what the name suggests. You're probably gonna want to pick this one up. It's subdued though. It's you're gonna if you really want to taste the cookie, you're gonna have to maybe put a little Capella sugar cookie in there, or boost it with something else. Maybe a touch of regular flavor art cookie. I wouldn't use AP. Maybe a little yellow cake or something, um, to kind of just like lift it up just a notch. But man. I agree the strawberries and cream wettens it up real nice. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I kind of burnt my mouth eating Chinese food just a little bit ago.
So I could be tasting more of it and maybe I'm just not picking up on it. You know what I mean? I just noticed like my mouth has like this interesting like numbness about it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I burned my taste buds off. Well, it doesn't really matter. It comes to your nose anyway. What percentage did you add it? I did um 2%. We did 2%. Here's the recipe again. 2%. One and a half of vanilla custard, two. You want custard with it, I think, because it's just going to help give it a little bit more butter. It's going to give it a little bit. You know what helped boost this too? Biscuit. Anywhere is biscuit. But go real light on it. Half a percent of biscuit. Quarter of a percent of biscuit. Because biscuit's a bully, and you don't want that biscuit note. You just want it to lift the cookie up a notch. Uh, yeah, the vanilla cookie is, is amazing. It's really, really good. I want to play around more with it to see what else we can do with it. But yeah, it's like that perfect sort of like lady fingers, animal cracker type cookie. It's just subdued F from what I'm getting right now. From what I'm getting right now. It's just a little subdued. Yeah, don't don't do any AP. It'll just it'll ruin it. It'll just crush it. It's very delicate. River still kicking those bones. Long time since he said hello on the stream. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's out there. Maybe I'll bring him on at the end. Maybe steeping isn't a myth and you'll taste it in a few days. <laughs> I disagree. I, I don't see how that would ever be possible in any situation. <laughs> Pretty sure they said on Fresh's show they sold some of the FA flavors at Bull City. They weren't supposed to, so they took them away? I thought they stopped doing that. So then now they don't sell them at Bull City anymore? I could have sworn they stopped doing that. That would be pretty ridiculous. What would they be selling that they weren't supposed to? Yeah, it looks like you can't buy it right now. Yeah, it's subdued, but you taste it. It's like right on that tail end, you get like a vanilla graham, not graham cracker, vanilla animal cracker like cookie. There's really not much texture to it though. You would have to kind of build some texture into it or just go, go, go more delicate. Like I could go way more delicate with this. Like if I were to drop the super sweet and then probably drop the TFA strawberry and just went sweet strawberry at like 2%, You'd probably be able to pick up on it a little bit more. Can you put the recipe up one more time for us old timers? Yeah. Yeah, let me make it public so you guys can... Um... I'll make it public so you guys can go see it. Oh, look at this. You could change the color? No fucking way, dude. Let's go. This is vanilla cookie. Let's go, dude. That rocks. A simple strawberry shortcake utilizing the new F.A. vanilla cookie. Shake and vape. Best after. I'll just say three days. All right, it's up if you guys want to go check it out. All of our recipes that we're going to be making on these streams, guys, and this is going to be from here on out. I'm not going to put them in the description anymore because I always forget. Just go to my account on all the flavors. And y'all, Reclaw, all, everything that we do will go up on this account. Okay, very simple.
copy, paste, paste. Okay. I guess I can just put that link in the description and just have it default to that. Look at that, dude. It changed. You can, you can now set the color of the pattern. That's huge. I love colors. I love them. I'm going to go through all of my recipes. How many recipes do I have? All of my 262 shared recipes. Oh my gosh. 262 shared recipes. Wow. Pretty nutty. Good morning, Wayne from Australia. Good morning, Joe. Good day, mate. Maybe they imported some contraband custard premium. I could have sworn they stopped. I remember Sean Casey saying that he they were gonna stop doing that, but maybe I'm just maybe I'm just dreaming that or that was like a private conversation we might have had. I could have sworn he said these that they, they're not they're gonna stop caring about that, but I guess not. Apparently, I guess not. It's pretty honestly though, I I I understand flavor arts. Um I understand flavor arts uh uh what's it, what's it called? Like position in doing that. But it also does kind of suck because it's just like just let uh, let me just sell it. You know what I mean? Let me just sell it. Like Bull City is not a vaping company. I would understand if it was like a vaping company selling those products. But Bull City is not a vaping company anymore. You know, they they don't they do not sell vaping products at Bull City. I don't think you can get any vapor products at Bull City. They're just a flavor house. They're just a flavor house. Well, here they have some of the new flavor art. I don't know. Who knows? Here's all the new stuff here. Okay. Yeah, the vanilla cookie's banging. Vanilla cookie. We're not going to give it a score. We're going to give it a score on Wednesday. Midweek critique. We'll come back and we'll score some of the new flavor arts. We'll, we'll fully score them out. Okay. But right now, first impressions are high. High first impressions. Really nice stuff. Very subtle. Don't go mixing it with heavy things and thinking that you're going to taste it. It's subtle. Very subtle. It's very delicate. You have to be delicate with it. Don't pound it. That's strawberry shortcake. Honestly, I want to put yellow cake in there to just boost it just a notch, just to give me that extra shortcake flavor. And I think this recipe would be amazing. I just sent you the full blurb from FAUK on all those new flavors, including recommended percentages, suitability for vaping. All right, let me see. Let's take a look. Bull City doesn't carry one on one. I thought they did. All right, Pippa sent me some document that I have to download. Let's see it. What is this document? What is it in referral to? Flavor art is back. Wow, that's a big statement. 24 new flavors. Flavor art flavor concentrates. Our water-soluble food grade flavorings manufactured with the U.S. and EU repertoire and FEMA grass flavor materials. Probably made in Italy, flavor art multipurpose concentrates are carried in farmer-grade propylene glycol. Tailored for human consumption. Flavor art concentrates do not carry knowledge in alcohol, sugar, protein, preservatives, colors, genetically modified ingredients, animal ingredients of any kind. They are gluten and peanut-free, suitable for diabetics, vegetarian, and vegans. Flavor art is and always will be sweetener-free. Did you know flavor art tested cytotoxicity of its flavor aerosol emissions? Have a look at the results of our ClearStream Onward project. Oh, yeah, look at this. They have the dilution on there. Okay, nice. Strawberry green. This is one of their new ones. Four to seven. Wow, pretty high. 
vanilla cookie. Oh, they don't have one for vanilla cookie. Oh, maybe this is one of the ones they weren't supposed to sell. Vanilla cookie, because it has diacetyl. Diacetyl. Vanilla waffle. Which one also have? So the custards also, yeah. Cookie premium. I don't think I have that one. We'll have to try to figure that one out. Decano tobacco. Donut crispy. I think I have donut crispy, don't I? No, I don't. We don't get any of the good ones. I want the donut crispy. I want the cookie premium. Those are the ones I want. I do have Cheesecake Olympus and Decano Tobacco, which I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. What's What do you guys think Decano Tobacco is supposed to be? It kind of smells fruity. It's like a cherry tobacco. Ooh, that's like actually pretty good, the Decano Tobacco. Ooh, that might go interesting in the Obsidian. There's like cherry notes to it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Raspberry candy. Yeah, very high, a lot higher percent. Maybe these are solo percentages, that's why. Interesting. Awesome. I would mix the percentage of what works for you. I agree there. High percentages. Spoiler, Donut Crispy might just blow your freaking mind. I need to get some in. Someone send me some in. Flavor Art, send me the donut. Send me the good stuff. I won't tell them. I won't tell anyone that you sent them to me. I'll say that Joe Schmo sent them. Oh, great. More flavors to buy. I'm so out of the flavor game. It's all I love when new flavors pop up, don't you guys? Cheesecake Olympus is okay. It needs to go up to 4%. I'm not the biggest fan of like multi-layer cheesecakes. Just give me the vanilla cheesecake. Best strawberry flavor either go ever have a strawberry cream cake by Vape to you in Ohio. They went out of business a couple years ago. Would love to have the recipe. Nice. Read somewhere that one-on-one -on -one isn't being sold on other sites since they don't they want to do it all themselves. Okay, one-on-one, -on -one, if that's what you say. Maybe it's a liability thing. Is my, that, that's what I'm starting to assume assume some sort of like liability thing but like these flavoring companies are no longer vaping companies flavor jungle is not a vaping comp look at my hat and my hair someone say something flavor uh flavor jungle is not chef's flavors is not bull city is not they're not vaping companies so it's i mean i'd understand if you don't want other flavor retailers selling your stuff i guess but at the end of the day it's like at least have a better store platform that we can buy from, I guess. Okay. That's really good. The vanilla cookie is good. It's really good. It's subtle. It's light. But it's good. Okay. Um, What are we making, guys? What happened? My poll disappeared. I guess we'll do it again. What? are we making ry4 is on the list we can do um i need some ideas man i need some ideas got boba bounty vibes yeah it's definitely inspired by boba bounty yeah trying to get some raisin in there that's that's where the inspiration comes from Nick River changed name to River Supply to not be a vape company, but look what happened. They shut it all down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Nick River Supply did sell nicotine. <laughs> they did sell nicotine. These companies don't sell nicotine.
That is good. Is this list available for public? That flavor list that Pippa sent me? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Pippa, if you want, put it in the Facebook group so people, other people can have it, I guess. Truly punchy seltzers. I don't know what that is. Revisit your, your Neapolitan ice cream, but with a true cho chocolate wafer. Fig vanilla milkshake. Ice cream waffle. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Ice cream waffle. Hmm. Maybe. I'll put waffle on there. I'll put waffle on there. That might be pretty tough, but I'll put it on there. Pistachio, I'll wait for you. Could make, use a revisit. Yeah, I could. We should do a remix show. Vanilla ice cream and a waffle cone. Well, waffle cone... That's pretty tough. That's actually pretty tough. It might not sound tough, but vanilla ice cream and a waffle cone is actually pretty fucking tough. Blueberry, sour blueberry. Okay. Peanut butter and strawberry jelly cookie or donut. Okay. I'll put uh, just PBJ. PBJ. RY4 waffle, PBJ. A lot of, a lot of like bakery heavy things. Everyone loves bakeries, huh? I agree. A good vanilla ice cream alone is tough as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Cause the problem is, is like, yeah, it, it's so tough because you're trying to figure out how to hit the ice cream profile without it tasting like milk or cream. And it's just like, it becomes very difficult. RY4 waffle. RY4 peanut butter and jelly waffle. That would be awesome. Actually. Chef started selling Nick now? Is that true? Is that true? Yes. It's not. <laughs> well, it looks like they're going to. Maybe they sold out. You can see they have a section for it. Maybe I maybe maybe it's just not viewable to me. Right? Because I'm in the US. It might not be viewable to me. Unless someone can go there if it's blank, let me know. If someone in the UK or the anywhere outside of the US, if you can go to that page, let me know if it's blank. Pineapple upside down cake. Wait, just so you know, you got me into DIY and I'm loving it. Thanks for getting me off the stinkies. You're a legend. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're able to uh, kick the habit, brother. Keep it up. Chocolate chip brioche. That's pretty. It's, it's pretty insane. Limeade. Okay. That pretzel cake? Okay, I'll put pretzel on there. Yeah, that's a good idea. That pretzel, pretzel, what is it called? Pretzel salad. All right, I have RY4 waffle, PB&J pretzel. You guys vote on those four. Boom, get it going. Let's put up, I'm going to give you guys five minutes, which is, how many seconds is that? 300. Boom, get going. Get it going. Get your votes in. I'm going to vote myself here. RY4. <laughs> yeah. That pretzel salad was fire. Doing pretzel is tough too because, all right, a big portion of pretzel is salt. And that's really what makes pretzel is the salt. If you didn't have salt on your pretzel, 
you would have something so close to cracker. Like pretzel is really tough. And vaping, it's it's even yeah. PBJ pretzel? Hell yeah, that sounds delicious. PBJ anything is good. Oh my god. Uh remember I told you about that Weckerly's ice cream? I'm an ice cream head, dude. It's a problem. I went to my local market and they sell this local ice cream company and they had peanut br- peanut butter peanut butter brittle ice cream and it was so fucking good, dude. So good. I'm all out of ice cream though, unfortunately. I'm all out of ice cream. I don't want RY4 to win. Keep voting. Come on. You got a minute left. Or no, you don't. You have a few minutes left. Keep voting. Get those votes in. If we do RY4, it's going to be a goofy one. PDF is now on the Mixers Collective. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. 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 PB Brittle makes my pants tight. Oh my God. It was so good because it was like, it was like fresh homemade ice cream with this peanut butter brittle mixed into it. But also like the ice cream had like a caramelish like flavor. Oh my God. It was so good. I can see Nick on chef's page. Only 18 milligram TPD compliant. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's what I figured. If I put a VPN, you could probably see it. But yeah, it makes sense. So if you're in the US, you can't buy from chefs, unfortunately. Which is to be expected. It's 106 here right now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's hot everywhere. It's not that bad here right now, but... I like it, guys. I like the heat. I'm I'm a warm-blooded species. Wow, Waffle is taking it away. Waffle heads. Waffle heads taking it away. He almost doubled the vote of RY4. Wow. I wish you all used Twitch because we could do these like cool gambling things now on Twitch. Like I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do a gamble right now on Twitch. So anyone who's on Twitch, you'll be able to participate. How do I do this? How do we do gambles? Um, let's see here. How do we gamble? I can run ad breaks. Twitch is way better for live content. Why does YouTube suck so much? You know? What did I just do? Oh. Predictions. Okay, so here we go. We can predict. We have the technology to predict now. I'm going to run a prediction here. Will this mix turn out good? Yes or no? And you bet you can bet. So all the points that you guys have in on Twitch, you can bet them. And we'll do it for five minutes. Yes or no. You can bet. The way you bet, you go into your chat. You'll see a little thing. You click on it. And then you can type in the amount of points that you want to bet. There you go. You guys can see now. There's a prediction going. Prediction started. Win channel points. And we'll, we'll, uh, after you guys put your points in, I'll, I'll put the prediction out when we're done. All right. Are we done voting? Is that it? 300 seconds. That's five minutes, isn't it? How many minutes in 300 seconds? Or am I losing it? Five minutes. Okay. Oh, well. Five minutes is elapsed. Waffle is the winner. Waffle is the winner with a huge portion of the vote here. 
Huge abortion. All right. Chef selling nicotine, 10 ml bottle, 18 milligram salt opens here in the UK. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Five Guys peanut butter, Biscoff, and bacon milkshake. Ooh, that sounds good. Sweet, uh, salty, sweet, savory. Okay, we're going to do a waffle here. What was the original idea? RY4 waffle, right? Didn't someone say RY4 waffle? Some sort of waffle. Blueberry waffle? What was the original waffle idea? I forget. Well, we'll do some sort of waffle. We'll do some sort of waffle. What kind of waffle? Waffle dessert ideas. Let's see here. Let's get some inspiration. Blueberry waffle? I could do blueberry waffle. I need pictures. We need the slideshow. The dreaded slideshow. Ooh, look at those, dude. Banana bread waffle. We can do that. We're not doing chocolate. Waffle ice cream sandwich. Reese's Puffs cereal waffles. Okay. Peanut butter waffle we could do. Homemade stuffed pizza waffles. That's not a dessert. Red velvet waffle. Red velvet waffle. Well, I guess all a waffle is, is a pancake fried in a waffle maker because it's pancake batter. There's no difference. It's still pancake batter. So it's technically just pancakes, but fried in a waffle maker. That's a waffle, right? Uh, Bacon, egg, and cheese waffles. Apple fritter waffle donut. I could do apple fritter donuts waffles. No, <laughs> chicken, strawberry sunrise waffle and chicken sandwich. That is just dumb. Air fryer chicken and waffles. No chocolate. Cornbread waffles with chili. Cinnamon French toast waffles. Gluten-free peanut butter and jelly waffles. Garlic bread cheese waffles. Pumpkin. We could do pumpkin waffles. We usually just do pumpkin in the fall, though. It doesn't make sense to do pumpkin any other time. Spinach tomato waffles. Churro waffles. Yeah, now you're speaking my language. Churro waffles, which is technically just a churro. <laughs> just shaped it differently. Grim Green mentioned an apple custard that somebody made and thought it sounded really interesting. You should make that. Okay, save that for uh, for the poll next week. Peaches and cream on waffle, vanilla ice cream on waffle cone, PB and banana waffle. There's so many different waffles we can do. I don't want to do banana because because um that's like too normy. That's like a normy waffle. I like the idea. Maybe an apple fritter waffle donut. Except that waffle irons are turned up to 11 when using pancake mix. Walnut waffle. Waffle with sweet cream cheese. <laughs> you guys you guys sometimes ask too much of me. You ask too much of me. Someone would be like, you should make a, a, a sweet cream cheese waffle with 
uh, strawberry compote and cinnamon drizzle. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's take a step back. <laughs> let's take a step back. At the end of the day, I'm still using TFA waffle. Apple fritter waffle sounds doable. Waffle with cinnamon sugar, ice cream, and dulce de leche. <laughs> Pistachio with Greek yogurt and crispy lemon layer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys asked too much of me. All right. I mean, we could try. I just, that's the problem is like, it's doable. Is, is it doable in an hour long live stream off the top? I don't know. Impossible. I don't know if I'm that good. Okay, we've been getting better throughout the years, but I don't know if I can create some of the things that you guys tell me. Crack and waffle. What is crack and waffle? Make it a waffle house. Waffle just adds syrup and sadness. True. I've never been to waffle house. I think it's a Southern thing, isn't it? Or is it a West Coast thing? I know it's popular in some places, but it's never been a popular thing here on the tri-state. We have Wawa. <laughs> we have wa We don't have Waffle House. We have Wawa. IHOP. We have IHOP. IHOP is the shit. IHOP is the best. I will fight anyone. IHOP is trash food? No. It is God tier, God tier food. Every time I've been to IHOP, I've walked out feeling satisfied. Can't say the same about this Michelin star restaurant I've been to. All right, let's try. Let's see. You guys wanted a blueberry waffle. We're going to do another vote. <laughs> let's do another vote. <laughs> You're going to vote on blueberry or apple. Okay. It's going to be a one minute vote. Get your voting fingers ready. Get your voting fingers ready. What kind of waffle? Blueberry or apple? That's all you get. Here we go. 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 And on the screen. Oh, I didn't start it? There we go. And on the screen. I kind of want to do Apple. I get two votes because I'm on Twitch and on YouTube. So if you don't want Apple, you have to vote against me. You can use both your accounts to vote if you'd like. If you have a Twitch account. Or a YouTube account. Blueberry waffles are pretty easy too. They're not that difficult. And I know I can do a good one. A good blueberry waffle. Apple is a little tougher. Make sure you guys are voting correctly. Like what Casey Shuffle did. Mix MB Classic Belgian SSA Crisp Waffle. I I probably am. I probably am. <clears throat> okay. Apple is taking the cake here. Very quickly. 35 votes in. We're done. Apple is the winner. We're going to do Apple Fritter Waffle Crisp. <laughs> Let's get it going. Let's get it going. I kind of want to see what... Let's use a... Can I use a proxy? I don't have... I don't think I have a VPN on this computer. Oh, I do. If I use a VPN, will it fuck the stream up? I don't think so. 
Oh no. I need to redo my VPN. That's okay. I want to see what the chef... Can someone do me a favor in the UK? Take a screenshot of the chef's flavors nicotine thing and just send the link over on Twitch. You can't send links on YouTube. I just want to see what it looks like. I, I just, I'm, I'm just interested. They won't even let me look. I just want to see. All right, all the flavors. New recipe. We're doing apple fritter waffle. You guys getting two recipes today. Wow, lucky you. The things I do for you. Make sure I share. We're going to make the color dark green, of course. Hunter green, which is the color of apples and waffles. This is a simple. I always write this is a simple. This is a simple apple and cinnamon waffle. I'm just going to put apple waffle maple you know the deal made on live mixing i'm doing this now so i don't forget okay i have to add an image no recipe is complete without an image okay let's go Let's get it going. I lied. Let's close this thing. It should have been closed. Complete. There we go. Okay. 80% of the vote. Yeah, classic Belgian waffle by Mullenberry possibly is what we're going to use. I think our good old friend Gordo is the one that used it in his one of his recipes. I think I want to say it was you, Gordo. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to start with. It's got a little bit of like that donutty vibe to it. But we're going to have to exploit it a little bit. We need maple. We need maple syrup. Maple syrup, if you do any sort of like pancake, waffle, breakfast, maple syrup, honestly, is really all you need. I don't even need the waffle. I can just give you maple syrup and you'll be like, oh yeah, it's a waffle. That's how strong of a, of a, uh, what is it called? Of like a connection we have to waffles and pancakes with syrup. That's how strong of that connection is. You could just literally vape maple syrup and be like, oh, I'm... I'm vaping waffles and pancakes. So, and FA maple syrup, I think, is number one. So, FA maple syrup, easy, easy, easy add. 0 0.75. We're going to try to, we're, I've been using lots of like RIN percentages lately. Not as, not as severe, but we're staying on the lower side. We're doing lots of complex stuff. We have to keep it pretty light. Go Gordo. Gordo, didn't you use Molenberry's classic waffle in something that you submitted to me? Or am I losing my mind? I thought it was you. Maybe it was someone else. Maybe I just think you are, are you submit every recipe. Go Gordo. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Placebo effect. Yeah, sort of. It is sort of a placebo effect. All right, yeah, we're going to go that.
You can order from chefs. You can't order nicotine from them. I just want to see what it looks like. Chef's flavor is the same as yours in Australia has nicotine, but no link yet. It's not there's no link yet. There is a link. We just can't view it. They don't they don't sell nicotine to, to us. Because someone said that someone in the UK said that they went there and they sell nicotine to them that live in the UK. All right, we're gonna do classic Belgium. Three percent. Pretty high. A little bit of maple syrup. If we're going to do cinnamon with it, which I think we probably should. I don't see a reason to not to, to use anything other than cinnamon Danish swirl. Because I don't want a lot of cinnamon. I don't want like a... I want like a very light amount of cinnamon. Like a very light amount. So a half a percent of cinnamon Danish swirl... To just say, hey, there's a little bit of cinnamon in here. What is that maple syrup flavor you're using? Flavor art. Flavor art. To my all the flavors peeps out there, if you can do me a huge favor. When we when I zoom in, well, I guess I can never mind. I guess I could just do it like that. The hamburger menu. Beautiful. Perfect. Just like that. I just didn't, wasn't zoomed in enough. I wonder if you set up a VPN with the UK address, if you could order some. Yeah, you probably could. My VPN's not set up though. I was trying to do it, but I, my VPN, they asked me to switch the VPN. They switch the VPNs all the time so, and I haven't updated it in some time. No, I don't like cap cinnamon sugar, to be honest. I'd rather just use cinnamon Danish swirl. I feel like it's it'll get us there. Cinnamon donut? I don't know if I have that. I don't have VT cinnamon donut. Apple filling, that's a good idea. Problem is, it's leaked all over me. I don't have any more. These fucking old bottles. Let me let me uh be right back real quick. Let me wash my hands real quick. Give me a second. I need to do a be be right back screen. One second, guys. Play.
find the apple filling. One second. It's gotta be here somewhere. I might just be out of it. That might have been, no, cause that was the old bottle. Apple pop. Where are you at? Come on, gotta be here somewhere. I don't see it. They have like 30 apples. Sour apple, green apple, Granny Smith apple but no apple filling. All right, we might have to skip the apple filling. I think that would have worked really good here. It seems as if I don't have any more or I just can't find it at least. I know it's in here. Like I know I know I have one. All right, let's, we'll skip the apple filling. I think that would have worked well. I think it would have worked well. SSA baked apple? What about apple pop? Maybe. Maybe.
apple fritter. We do we use country apple? Wonder Flavor says apple cinnamon strudel, which I've never used. Yeah, I feel like apple filling would have been like one of the best choices here. SSA has baked apple and apple strudel. Mm. Baked apple might have to be it. And then apple strudel. Don't single hand test that one. Oh, it's almost like salty. All right, I got an idea. I think we're going to go baked apple. But we're going to go SSA baked apple. 1%. But we're going to supplement it with apple pop. At a half a percent. And F.A. Apple Pie. At 1%. We have the syrup. We have the waffle. We have the sin. I want a little bit of brown sugar to kind of pull it all together at half a percent. If that doesn't work, we can just do caramel, but I think brown sugar is going to be the better option here. And then super sweet. At a quarter of a percent. It's a bakery. I like to do a quarter of a percent for bakeries. That's pretty darn impressive. <laughs> Cinnamon apple pie by SSA. Is that a thing? It is a thing. They have four different apples. They also have golden apple, which is like, I guess, supposed to be like country apple. And then sin apple pie. Hmm. 
Sin apple pie is pretty good. I don't think we need it though. I'm going to go golden apple actually instead of baked apple. We're going to, well, it might be, we'll do apple pop at point. Actually, no, we'll keep the baked apple, but we'll do golden apple with it. And we'll pop the baked apple with the golden apple, the 1%. I don't know if it'll work though, but we'll we'll find out, I guess. This will be at a half a percent. Very light touch percentages here. All right, we need to get going on this mix, man. We need to see where we're at. Save and mix. Baked apple, golden apple. Mullenberries, classic Belgian waffle, flavor arts, maple, apple pie, brown sugar, cinnamon, Danish swirl. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. The apple filling would have worked really well here, but it's all good. Um, another thing, I think vanilla cookie, flavor art vanilla cookie would work well here too. I think that would actually work quite nicely. If I do say it so myself. All right. Apple pie, 1%. Apple pie, long time ingredient, classic, a staple. SSA baked apple, brand new, new kid on the block here. We'll find out if it's any good. 1%. You go too high on the apples, it it just gonna blow everything, all the bakeries out. We don't want to do that. TFA brown sugar, just kind of add some depth, a little bit of depth. Hopefully, add some depth. And this is only at a half. Butterscotch ripple. Yeah, you definitely want to add some sort of like caramel, butterscotch, brown sugar. Cinnamon Danish swirl is our cinnamon note. I wouldn't add like a rich cinnamon in here or any sort of like very prominent cinnamon. Don't need it. Classic Belge. 3%. Classic Belge. Golden apple. Half a percent. When you make apple pies and stuff, right? When you make like apple bakeries, you're mainly using golden apples or or like crisp apples, right? You're not, you're never rare. You're rarely using like mealy red apples, right? I'm not really much of a baker. But I'm trying to remember most of the apple desserts and bakeries I've had have been like green apple, Macintosh apple, yellow delicious. Rare rarely are they like red apples. Very light amount of sweatna. Maple syrup is in, in involved when maple syrup is involved. FA butterscotch is necessary. I don't know if it's necessary. I mean, if you wanted like to really boost it, we got to be delicate. We're working with waffle. This would probably also be like the max amount of ingredients I would put in a recipe like this. Um, any more and you run the risk of just muddying your recipe. I'm already thinking we got to pull back. We probably don't need two, three apples. We probably could get rid of the apple pie. Well, 
the apple pie is going to add like that apple pie is really good at like gluing together profiles bakeries like this specifically with apple in them it's a good glue I think this is going to be pretty good, but we'll see. We shall see. All right. Let's cap her off. Give her a schmack. I've been busy. Did you see Chef's pick of Nick picks of Nick on Discord? Nope. Let me take a look. I didn't know you sent them over there. Let me look. Oh, awesome. This is what it looks like to 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 those of us who are to the unfortunate Americans and I guess Australians. This is what it looks like. You can get your chef's nick shots. Awesome, man. Shout out to chefs. Good job, guys. Good to see. You. Good shit. Chef's flavors at co.uk. Pick up your Nick shots. And guess what? While you're there, go pick up some flavorings. DIY or die one shots. It makes it so easy. Okay. It's never it's never been easier. It's never been easier. Cheap. 18 mils now, I guess, right? I'm trying to think think of the math in my head. If you were to make a three milligram, 30 mil, you would use how much of that? Well, let's do here. 18 milligram, 100% VG. Oh, you'd only use a half a milliliter. You'd only use a half a milliliter, right? So this is a 10 mil. You get about 10 to 20. You get about 20 mixes out of that. You'd get about 20 mixes out of this little thing. So this is like what I'm saying, like about like, you know, loading up. This will make you 20 e-liquids. 20 e-liquids at three milligrams, of course. If you did six, you would have 10. You would double, you would have that. Obviously, if you were doing 18 milligrams, you know, well, you wouldn't double it. You would, I don't know, 50% it, I guess. Yeah, but that's only a half a milliliter. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I lied. This is a 10 mil. This is a 10 mil. Let's redo the math here. So if we did a 30 mil, it's going to be three. It's going to be one and a half. Okay, so you get... Not that much. You get that. Not that much. <laughs> you get not that much. You get four, four or five e liquids out of it. Thirty mils. But guess what? It's better than nothing. Vaping is better than smoking. So what? All right, let's try this out. I'm excited. 10 mils added to 50 mil short fill makes a 3 mil, 60 mil mix. 3 milligram, 60 mil mix. Yeah. Oh, that tastes good, my dudes. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to get dicked, though. Oh, you're talking about you're talking about soccer. I thought you were talking about your Saturday night. Hey -oh! All right, this is the apple fritter waffle.
Not that good. Not that good. Very muddy. Very muddy. There's a culprit in here. There's a culprit in this mix. Apple vapes are underrated. I'd argue they're overrated. Apple vapes are so popular. Apple is such a popular profile. It's up there with strawberry. This is like way too apply. Way too apply. We got to really bring back the apple here. We got to really dial back the apple here. It's kind of okay. No, it's not that good. We got to go we got to go back to the drawing board. We're just muddy and not working out. It's not working out. We're going to drop both of these apples. We're going to drop the apple pie. We're going to drop the brown sugar. Why? You think it's what? It's not looking off. Did you want us to go now? Do you want to go? When do you want to go? Oh, you want to go in like a half an hour? <clears throat> All right, we got to wrap this up. Let's do one more mix. One more mix here. And we're going to, we need an apple that is like apple filling, to be honest. We need like an apple filling profile. And I don't want to use Fuji. I don't want to use Fuji. It's too bright. Maybe just the baked apple. I was thinking country apple, but it's like, it's, it works too good in everything. It works too good in everything. I guess we do country apple, right? And I mean like at a half a percent. I want to bump up the maple too. Maybe you're right. Maybe we do add butterscotch to to boost that maple syrup. That's probably a good idea. And then we're bumping this up. This needs to be bumped up to 4%. I mean, this by itself might not be the answer either. Maybe this 0.75. Let's try this. Let's try this.
Yeah, the other one is just too bright, too apple-y. It ain't working. Oh no, this is the 30 mil. Damn you guys. No, no, no. So much on my desk. Classic Belgium, 4%. Country Apple at a half. Maple at one. Classic sponge cake. Well, I was thinking maybe even like vanilla cookie. I was thinking maybe even just vanilla cookie. Something to help add some cakiness. We'll see after this. Okie dokie. On the hand, that tastes good. Let's drip it. Much better. <laughs> Country Apple is like a cheat code. It, it's just not fair. It's not fair. It's like so easy to use. It's so good in bakeries. It's so good in fruits. It's so good in candies. It's really just not fair. really just not fair this is a profile i think that we should probably 
turn up a, like a lot actually instead of going lighter i actually think we should go heavier on everything now that i vape it i really just want more of like maple syrup notes i just want more of like that heavier waffle brown sugar like i just want more apple i want to turn everything up make it very saturated You're probably gonna lose a lot of like any sort of like subtlety that's in there but at the end of the day it'll probably just be a better vape to be honest not bad not bad not bad this isn't like a this isn't like a run out by the flavorings and mix this up i also want to see how this steeps country apple at a half might die out considerably after a day or two But yeah, I think that maple could use like a little bit extra oomph to it. Yeah, I think that maple syrup, I think we need more maple syrup. I think we need more maple syrup. Any good ideas for something to make cap lemon meringue pie pop a bit more? Yeah, I mean, just citrus. Any sort of like brighter citrus um a lot of people like flavor express lemon i'm not the biggest fan of that ingredient but that's one that like a lot of people like to use you could probably use like i would try like the one-on-one -on -one candy lemons i think they're all really good you could try flavor arts lemon sicily you could just a little bit more citrus would help bring that out and of course sweetener all right that's it guys that's it for today's show. I got to cut it a little bit early today. But I love you all. I'm going to see you guys on Monday for Wake Up. You know what it is. We got a big show on Wake Up coming up. So be ready for that. And um, noted on Monday. And then Wednesday's midweek. We got a whole episode of midweek for you. Mix up the vanilla cookie. Try to get it if you can, I guess. And, uh, awesome. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Darn impressive.